Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this design, which is a Grim Reaper, even though this guy doesn't look like one, but I was just messing around when I was writing down the pattern. Um, this is more of what we'll be doing today. Um, yeah, I really like this design. Um, it's not too band heavy. I thought it was less band heavy than this, but I guess it does take a lot of bands. So it's around, the whole thing takes around 271 bands. The black is 199 and the white is just 72. So it's mainly the black, that's all the bands. Um, yeah, this is really easy to design to me. There's not much to me that's like hard to attach or anything. So it's an easier design. I know I made the witch, which was the other Halloween design I made this year. That one is harder. This one's definitely way easier. So yeah, uh, I don't know what else I was gonna say about this design, but yeah, you can do a couple of different things with him. Like I gave him bigger eyes and like a different mouth and he has a candy corn, but I'm gonna show you how to make this with the face because I actually didn't glue on his face I pulled bands in so I can show you how to do that and I'll show you how to make his little I don't know what the, I don't know what this is called um yeah I think that's it so um of course you're gonna want to get whatever colors you want today I'm still gonna be making him white but I'm out of black so I'm gonna use um red for his robe I guess and I'll use the same colors for this I have no idea what the heck this thing is called his weapon I guess same colors. Um, you're gonna want beads for eyes if you have them. I forgot to get them. I'll have to get them in a bit. Um, but you're gonna want beads if you wanna use beads. A C-clip to mark your rows, and of course you're gonna need a hook. I'm using my double-ended hook. I just like this hook as usual, so. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna get started because I don't really have too much to say about this design. Um, you definitely can make them holding different things. I was, as you can see, I was experimenting with that. Yeah. Yeah, now that's it. Um, so we're gonna start with the white. So you're going to want to get your white bands first, and we make this whole body section. Oh, that's the other fun thing about this design. The hood actually comes off. <laughs> and then he's like bald. I don't know why I find that fun. But yeah, the hood comes off. But yeah, so we start with the head color. Oh, and by the way, I have the pattern in the description in case anyone's confused about any part of this design. There's a pattern in the description if you find that helpful. Um, now that's it. Now we're starting. <laughs> so, to start, after I pick up some bands, what we'll be doing is we're just going to cap wrap a band three times on your hook. So, one, two, and then one more time, three, like that. And then you're going to get a band, pull it through everything on your hook, both ends back on, and then you push the back one over the front one. And then we're going to go back through the cap band. We're gonna pull a band through just the cap band, put both ends back on, push the back one over the front one, and then push this loop over from last time too. And we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did three more times, so there's a total of five loops in the cap band. So same thing, so we're gonna go back through the cap band, pull a band through the cap band, both ends back on, push the back one over the front one, and then push that other loop over. We just do this two more times. So same thing. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Like that, so now I have five loops, but if you're not sure how many loops you have, you can count. So you count the one on your hook, so you go one, two, three, four, five. And then once you're sure you have five, instead of going back into the cat band, we're gonna go into this first loop here. So not this bit, but this bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, and we'll just make a stitch in this, and we'll be putting our C-clip on this band. Okay, so that was the first row. So for this next row, we'll be increasing everything, and basically what it increases is instead of putting one stitch in each of these loops, we are going to be putting two. I'm just picking up some more bands. Okay, so this one already has one in it, so we have to go back into the same loop and do one more. And it's the same as doing it with the cap band, so for this time, instead of pulling it through the cap band, you just pull it through the loop. And then you put the back one over the front one, and that other loop over. And that's an increase, because we put two in this one. So then we move on to the next one, and we do the exact same thing, so we make a stitch. And then we go back in and make another stitch. And that's an increase. So we just keep doing this until we get back to the C-clip. So we're just putting two in each loop until we get to the C-clip. Okay. 
And I'm almost there. Oh, you're also going to need stuffing. I swear I forget every time at the start that you need stuffing for this design. I mean, you probably don't need, need it, but I like to stuff my things, so... Once you get to the C-clip, you'll just make a stitch in the band that has a C-clip in it and then move the C-clip up. Like that. So after this last row, we should have 10 loops, so I'll count. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now for the next row, we're going to be doing something similar to the last row. We'll be increasing every third loop this time, so we'll be doing two singles and then an increase. And I'm just picking up bands again. Okay, so this is one. The next one will be two. And then on this third loop, you do an increase. So you put two stitches in this one. And then, since we just did an increase, we'll do two single or normal, however you call it. So one, two. And then in the third loop, we do an increase, so we put two stitches in this one. And we can just keep doing this until we get back to the C-clip. So one, two. So I have to do an increase. Almost there. Oops. And then once you get to the band with the C-clip, just like last time, you just make a stitch and then move your C-clip up. So after that last row, you should have 13 loops, so I'll count them really quick. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So for this next row, we'll just be putting one band in every single loop, so we're just doing one. Oh no, it's two rows. We'll do two rows, just putting one band, one stitch in every loop, and then we get back to the C-clip. Do that for two rows, so we're just doing two rows, normal, no increasing, nothing like that. And I'll stay on camera for both the rows, but if you want to go off camera, you can... Well, not off camera, off video, I guess, you can do that. But yeah. So we're not increasing, so we're just putting one band in each of... One stitch in each of these loops until we get back to the C-clip, so... Just put one stitch in every loop for two rows. I really was hoping to get these designs out sooner. I kind of feel bad that I'm kind of releasing them like I put the witch out this morning. It's Friday. Tomorrow's Halloween. And I'm hoping to put this one out either tomorrow morning or later tonight. But we will see. I'm also sad I didn't get to make more Halloween designs, but I just got busy with school. <laughs> uh, tends to happen. I also have some videos I've filmed but haven't edited like I did the q and A. I I filmed it and then I haven't edited it yet. And once you get the C-clip you just move it up and then after this row you should still have 13 if you want to count. But I'm not going to count. But we have to do two rows so that was row one so we have to do one more. I'm just picking up some white bands. It's a broken one. I'm hoping I'll have more time around Christmas to do... I for sure have the gingerbread design I want to put out. But... I get out on the 12th from school. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping to film the gingerbread very soon. That we would be out with plenty of time till Christmas. And not so close. I know I, I filmed like the snowman in like July just because... I wanted to make sure that one was out, and I was going to do the gingerbread, but then I, and people wanted different designs, not Christmas designs, so I did those first. Yeah. I am trying to make tutorials for all my designs, but then I keep wanting to design things, and then I just make... Like, I get so behind. I haven't designed any bracelets in a while, just because I haven't felt like it. Because I've been working on a lot of Luma Kermi things. Okay, so that was the second row. 
So now we will be decreasing. And after that last row, you should still have 13 if you want to count. But now we'll be decreasing every third. So it's just like the increasing on the third, except for this time we'll be doing a decrease. And if you don't know what a decrease is, I'll show you in a second. As soon as I finish picking up bands. <laughs> Almost done with it. Okay. So this is one, so we'll, the next one's two. Now on the third one, we'll be doing a decrease. And what a decrease is, is you grab the front part of the first loop and the back part of the next loop. And then you just make a stitch. Once again, so we're doing on the third, so we have to go one, two. And on this third one, we do a decrease, so you grab the front part of the first loop and the back part of the next loop. One, two, then another decrease, so front part, and then the back part, and then we just move the C-clip up. Like that. So after that last row, you should have 10 loops, I believe. Is it 10? Uh, where the heck am I? Oh, I did that wrong. Did I? No. Shoot. Um, I'm gonna have to edit this video. Okay, so after that last row, like I said, you should have 13. But this row, oops, my sequel came off. Um, but this row will be decreasing every other loop. So, oh, it got blurry. There we go. Okay, so this is one, so the next one's a decrease. So you grab the front part, let me show you, front part of the first loop, and back part of the next loop, and then you make a stitch. And that's a decrease. I'll show you one more time. So we did a decrease, so now we just do one single or normal. And the next one's a decrease, so you grab the front part of the first loop. In the back one of the next loop. And you just make a stitch. Then we do one. And then we decrease again. So front part and back part. And we do one. We do the front part, the back part. We do one. Okay, and then the next decrease would be on the one with the C clip, but we don't do it on the one with the C clip. So we just move the C clip up. We do not do a decrease on this one. So after that last row, you should have nine loops. And I'll count them in a second. I'm just not putting on my C clip correctly. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And. Now we are done with the white color, so you can get your next color. I'm going to be switching to red, like I said at the start, so I'm just going to get some red bands. But that is it for the white until we do the hands. So I'm just picking up some red bands. So now this row will be increasing every third again. So. Okay, um, so the other thing I do just to make the color switch cleaner is on this band that has a C-clip on it, we're going to change it to red, so just undo the last stitch you did and take the C-clip off, and just do that exact same stitch, but in red, and when you pull it through, pull it through everything on your hook, and then put the back one over the front one. It just makes the color switch cleaner. Like that. Okay, so like I said, increasing every third, so it's just like the row we did earlier, but I'll show you again in case anybody's confused. So this is one, the next one is two, and then this third one will be an increase, so we put two stitches in that loop, because that's what an increase is, and we do, then we go forward two, so one, we go into the next loop, two, and then on the third loop you do an increase, so like I said, you put two stitches in this one. Then on the third one, again, we do an increase. So 
we just put two stitches in this loop. Then once you get to the C-clip, you'll just, okay, on the C-clip one you have to be careful because this one's going to look like a loop, but it's not. You can tell it's kind of like the across part of this band, so make sure you don't go in that one. You're going to want to go in the part with the C-clip. And you'll just make a stitch like normal, not like we did last time when we were switching colors. So after that last row, we should have 12 bands, so I'll count really quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, so we'll be increasing again this row, but this time we'll be increasing every fourth stitch. So we do three single and then we do an increase. Oops, knocking over my camera. <laughs> So this is one, then two, and then because we're increasing on the fourth, we do three, and then on this fourth one is where we put the increase. So we just put two stitches in this band, and once again, we'll do three, so one, two, and then three. And then on the fourth one, we'll do an increase. And we'll go forward three, so one, two, three. And then on this last band before the C-clip should be an increase. Oops. And then when we get to the C-clip, we'll just make a stitch in the span and move the C-clip up. Like that. So after that last row, you should have 15 if you count them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now it gets a bit repetitive for a couple of rows. So just like with the head, we'll be doing five rows this time, normal, so no increasing. At the end of this row, each of these rows, you should still have 15. So you just put one band in every loop for five rows. I'll stay on camera to do two rows, and then I'll go off to do the other three. So, yeah. Okay. So we're just putting one band, one stitch in every loop until we get to the C-clip. And we do this for five rows. So this is row one. And I'm not really explaining, I'm just hoping you can kind of see what I'm doing. I desperately need to order from Rainbloom. Um, I was noticing when I was getting bands for this that I think this is the last of my red bands. I thought I had another another container with them. But I think this is it. I'm like low on everything. And I, I have my Rainbow Loom order already in my cart of like everything I need band wise. And it's mainly a bunch of like opaque bands like black, white. I'm getting some peach because I want to make some people I guess. <laughs> um, but it's just so expensive and I'm like do I want to spend my money? I guess like before I had a job, so it was like, oh, you know, I'm earning money, so it doesn't really matter if I spend a lot on bands, but now it's like, oh my god, I don't have a job. Can I afford to go broke? I mean, I have a lot saved up from when I worked. But I always just feel bad spending it, even though it's my own money. But yeah. Almost at the C-clip. We'll just move it up. So that was one of the rows. I have to do four more after this, but like I said, just because we put one in every loop, you just still have 15. I'm not gonna count. I'll stay on to do one more row. And then I'll go off to do the other three. So 
So we're just putting one stitch in each loop till we go to the C clip. And this is row two for me. Two out of five, if that makes sense. Yeah, but like I was saying, I just need so many bands. I'm pretty sure every loomer gets the band struggle. I don't get how you guys, like some of you, make such big loomagurmy things. I feel like that takes so many bands. Like you guys must constantly be buying bands. Like I've made a couple of band, like more band heavy things, but I feel like some of the stuff I see you guys making is like really band heavy. I mean, it looks cool, but I'm like, geez, I could never. Except for maybe with dark green, I swear. I don't know how I ended up with so much just dark green. I have too much and I don't know what to do with it. But like, what things could I make that are dark green? I have no idea. Okay, I'm at the C clip, so we'll just move it up. So you're gonna do that exact thing that I just did twice for three more rows, for five rows in total. Um, I'm gonna go off camera to do the other three rows just because I don't want this tutorial to be super long. And yeah, I'll come back when I finish the three rows to make five rows in total, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I just finished doing the five rows, and this is what it looks like now. If I count it, I would still have 15. I'm not going to count, but if you want to count to make sure you should still have 15, and you're due to usher the five rows total, or if you were staying on with me, you should have done three more. Um, it should look something like this. So now, we got to close them up. Um, you're going to want your stuffing in around this point. I'm not going to stuff him yet. I'm going to do one more row, then stuff him. But you could stuff him now if you don't like stuffing him with like such a small hole. I always forget to stuff mine, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I keep awkward laughing in this tutorial, so that's fun. Um, okay, so but this next row will be decreasing every third, just like we did before. So this is one, two, and then the next one will be a decrease. You grab the front part of the first loop and the back part of the next loop. And we just make a stitch. So we just keep doing that all the way around. So you do two single or normal and then you do a decrease on the third. And the next one will be a decrease. I feel like my camera's blurry. Next one's a decrease. And we do one. Two, another decrease, two, um, and I think we do do a last uh, decrease on this last one that has a C clip on it because you would decrease the front part of this one and then the back one of the one that has a C clip on it and we'll just do a decrease on this one. And we will move the C-clip up. So after this last row, we should have 11 bands left. So if we count really quickly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now I'm going to stuff them before it gets too small. I'm just going to be using some cotton balls that I like to tear up because I don't like putting the cotton balls in a hole. Actually, remember to stuff them in the witch tutorial if any of you watched. I don't know how you'd have time to make both of these in time for Halloween, but if you did, you watched. I forgot to stuff her until I had one of the legs done. In fact, the first witch I did, I literally forgot to stuff her, and then I was like, oh, she needs stuffing, and luckily, like, the way I do the legs, it leaves, like, a little bit of a hole in the middle. So I had to stuff her that way. But I always forget to stuff my things. Couple of my designs recently haven't used stuffing. Those, which was is the worm, and then there was another one that you don't have to stuff. Just tearing up. I think this is too much. I thought I was gonna not have enough, but it looks like I have a lot now. Almost done. I'll just put the last of it in him. He'll be fine. There we go. And now he's stuffed. It probably is a big deal. Like, if you don't have stuffing, it's not a big deal. Um, He'll probably... He'll hold his shape still. It's just he won't be as, like, hard, I guess. 
and I like mine more sturdy, <laughs> so that's why I keep awkward laughing. Oh my god, someone needs to stop me. Um, yeah, just finishing this guy up now. So I stop. Oops, some of mine came undone. If it does come undone, like um, when you stuff him and you pull too hard and it comes undone, just re loop them and then re loop them with a C clip on it. That's no big deal. Okay, but now we'll be in decreasing, I almost said increasing, decreasing every other loop. So this one was a decrease, so we do one. And then the next one will be a decrease. And we do one. And then we do a decrease. One decrease. Do one more. And then on the one with the C clip on it, you can just remove the C clip at this point and do a decrease. Okay, so according to my pattern, you should still have you should have seven bands right now. So if we count, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At this row, if you have one less or one more like say you have six loops you have eight because we're just closing it up it shouldn't be too big of a deal so i wouldn't tr bother trying to fix it just leave it so now we'll be decreasing everything until it's closed so just every single stitch we do is a decrease so i just did one decrease one decrease No, I have to grab two bands. And then on the last decrease you're going to do when you feel like it's closed up enough, just pick up the decrease on your hook. This is how I like to close it up. Pick up the decrease on your hook. And then pull a band through everything on your hook. Then put the back one over the front one. And pull it tight. And then hide the tail. I usually just pull the tail up into him, and his bottom part will flatten out. And that is it. So I think we'll do the hood next. I was debating if we should do the arms or the hood first, but I think hood next is probably the best idea. So let me grab more red. Hold on a minute. Okay, so we're doing the hood. So you're going to want to get whatever color you want for the hood. And I didn't write down how to do this, so I'm just double checking. I remember how to make it though, so we're good. Um... So yeah, so you're just going to want to find whatever side you want to be the back. Um, he's round, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go with right here, because I can tell that this is where we change colors, and I don't, I don't like that. Um, and then what you're going to do is I usually go right here where the colors are, and I'm going to pick up this band, and I'm going to chain three onto this band. So, it's one, and then two... three and this is just a me thing because I like the stitches to face this way but I'm gonna flip my hook real quick so that way my hook is coming out this way that's just the thing I the way the stitches face just because of how I loom but if you don't really care you don't have to do this just yeah and then now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting um four stitches in this top loop so we'll pull another band through everything on our hook put both ends back on you push the back one over the front one and we're going to do that three more times in this um, top loop. Wait. Do we do that? Actually, no. Let's start at the bottom. <laughs> I was debating. So we're just going to leave that hanging there if you don't mess with it. Um, it'll... The top loop will stay. So we'll just start on this bottom loop. And we'll put two in this first loop. Two stitches. So that's one. Go back and do another one. Two. Then we'll go up to the next loop and we'll put two stitches in this one as well. So one, two. And then at this point you can attach this one that's on the top just into the rest and then do three more stitches. So one, two, and then three. 
And then in each of the two chain bits going down, we'll just be putting two and two. I'm picking up some bands. So we'll just be putting two in this one. Sorry if you can't see. But you just put two in each of the ones going down. And after doing this bit, you should have 12 stitches if you count them, so you count the one on your hook. I'm sorry, I'm so far away. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you should have 12. And then once you're sure you have 12, I'll show you how to do this first row. And then it gets a bit repetitive. And I'll stay on to do the whole hood because it can be a little bit confusing. But I think it's pretty easy after you do the first row. Ugh, I'm kind of getting tired of talking. I feel like from doing the long tutorial I did the other day, my voice has kind of been going if I talk too much. But yeah. Okay, so after you finish this last loop, what we're going to do is you're going to go in here somewhere. Just like the bottom area. I don't want the white to show. Because I don't want the white to show, I'm not going to go into the white. I'm going to go into the red. And then we'll just make a stitch. That way we're tying it down. And then because we made this stitch, because we have to flip, so you're gonna you're going this way, you're just gonna flip and go this way. I usually skip this first loop here and then start making stitches again. And then we just make stitches in each one of the loops going around. I hope this is making sense. So all you do is flip and then you skip the first loop and then you start making stitches in the rest of the loops. So you just make stitches all the way around until you get to the other side. I'm having a hard time seeing. <laughs> But we're just putting stitches in each loop until we get to the other side. I don't really use a C-clip for this because it's kind of just based on when you get to the end. And then once you get to the end, which is this last loop here, it's going to look again like this is a loop, but it's not. You can tell it's that um, part of that band. You want to make a stitch. And if you count again, you should have 12. So I'll count. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we don't count this weird end thing. <laughs> and once again, we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. We're gonna tie, we're gonna make a stitch in one of these red bits. So just pick a spot you like. I usually pick where I feel like the hat would end, so it kinda wants to naturally go like right here. So I'll go into this stitch here. And I'm going into the red stitches because if you go into the white, you'll be able to see the white through the back, and I don't want to see that. And we'll just make a stitch. And then once again we will turn our hook, skip this first loop, and start making stitches into this next loop. And just the same thing. We go back to the other side and we do the exact same thing. Um, my stitches are going the wrong way. Like that. Okay. And we just do this until we get to the other side. And it's the exact same thing as last time. So if you want to get ahead, um, we do this three more times. So that was two rows. We're going to... Wait, is that two rows? No, that was three. This is row three. All I counted is row three. So we do two more rows after this. If you want to get ahead, we just do the same thing. We just do one in each loop until we get to the other side. And then we do that weird thing we do at the end. And then we come back one more time. And then I think it's done. So we just continue making stitches until we get to the other side. I think that witch tutorial was a little too much. I had to go get water right now because my voice kind of does feel like it's going. I was talking nonstop for probably, I want to say, two hours. Because, um, the tutorial's only an hour and, like, 
because I don't run like 37 minutes, but I messed up one part on the hat and I had to redo the whole hat, which was like half an hour of filming and I had to film it again. And it was just like, oh no. It was bad. That tutorial, I'm really proud of the witch design, but oh my god, it was, it was so hard. It was like a lot of talking and I, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're just, I'm just still putting one in each loop until we get to the other side. It's just taking me a second because I feel like I'm at an odd angle looming this wise. Like, feels a little weird for some reason. Uh, I'm almost there. And like I said, we go up until that weird bit at the end. That weird bit, we don't make a stitch into that. So once you get to the other side, what you're going to do is the same thing as we've been doing. So you pick the spot in the red where you feel like it would go. So I'm going to say like right here. And we just make a stitch in this. And then we'll turn our hooks and we'll go skip one band and we'll go into the next one. And then we'll go all the way back to the side. Oops. I'm staying on camera just because to do the hood because I know the hood's a little weird and however I write it in the description is going to be confusing. Um, I've kind of gotten good, I feel, at writing the actual like pattern when it's Luma Gurmy, but when it's any like arms or things, I'm just like, um, I'm not exactly sure. And I try my best, but I'm, I'm not good at explaining with words. I feel like I'm better... I've gotten better in tutorials, but still not the best at explaining. See, I'm faster going this way. I don't know why. Going the other way feels weird for whatever reason. I have a feeling my lighting's going because my room's starting to look slightly darker. So I'm hoping I'll make it in time. Because my room gets dark now that it's winter, like, so quick. I mean, the lighting's still kind of holding up, but it's getting a little worse. Okay, so I'm on the last loop here. And once again, we don't go into that weird end bit. We just ignore it. And then we will stitch into wherever you feel like it goes. So I feel like mine would go right there. So we'll stitch into that. There we go. So we'll just make a stitch. And then we will turn our hooks, and this should be the last one, I think. And then our hood will be done. So we'll turn our hooks, we'll skip that first loop, and we'll start making stitches into this loop. And we'll just go back to the other side. I did like rearrange the whole my whole drawing schedule to try to get these tutorials out on time for Halloween because normally I draw a week and then on the weekends I because drawing my drawing class is the class that takes me the longest. Um I'm taking drawing two, it's my last class I need for to graduate. But it's a lot of work because drawing isn't I'm not that great at drawing, like I'm better at painting. Drawing just takes me so long and I don't know why. So, I'm hoping I don't fall behind by putting out Halloween tutorials, but I felt like I was ignoring, like I haven't really been on my channel, I haven't posted as much as I would have liked. I mean, that's going to happen with school, but I really wanted to get these out, so I hope you guys enjoy me re, like, <laughs> messing up my school schedule to get these out for you. I just know that Halloween's a little different this year, and not too many people put out Halloween designs, so I thought it would be fun to put out a few. That way some people have some, some things to do on Halloween. I know my family um, will probably carve pumpkins tomorrow. Because tomorrow's Halloween. So that'll be fun. Or I'll be drawing all day tomorrow trying to catch up. <laughs> but I'm on the last loop here. And I 
think, I don't know if we do one more row. I'm not sure, I can't tell. I have to put it on his head. Okay, so before I get it connected, <laughs> make sure I told you guys the correct amount of rows. Okay, so I was wrong. I said we do five rows. We actually have to do one more because this is still one row short. Um, I'm gonna write this down really quick so I can put it in the description. Just gonna put a random six on that page and hopefully I'll know what that means. So, uh, if you came back from doing the five rows, you actually do six. So, we had this first row, so that's one, one, two, three, four. This is five, so we do six rows total. I'll put it in the description. I'll say it again when I finish this row. That way, if people aren't listening, it's six. So we're gonna do one more. So once again, we'll just tie it in over here, and then we'll flip. So I'll just tie it in real quick. Make a stitch inside of him, and then flip. Skip that first one, and then go back. But yeah, I know my like. I don't know how coronavirus cases are going where you are but in my city it is bad it's pretty bad I know we've had like 1300 cases per day in where I live and that's really bad um, my school already like I was going hybrid for drawing to my class now we're online which sucks so but yeah Just finishing going back. Yeah, this row should be it, I believe. It still doesn't look big enough, what the heck? No, I think this is right. Oh, I went off camera for a second just to check. It looks right, so. I'm gonna go pause real quick just to make sure I did the correct number of rows and then I'll be back because sometimes if you have tighter bands it'll look smaller but it's correct so I'm just gonna go count real quick I just finished um I'm gonna go count okay so I just counted and it should have been six rows in total um I know I said five of people who are um just going off camera and doing it because I feel like I explained that pretty well you do six row total so if you did five it, your hat should look something like this um, you could tell if you didn't do enough rows because it'll just be slightly back more. It should look like it's right here. That means you need to do one more row and then it'll look like it's right here. But yeah, once you finish your last row that you're going to do, it should be six total. You're just going to go somewhere into somewhere where, where you want to connect the hat to the hood and you'll just make a slip knot and then tuck this in. And that is it for the hood. Okay, so now your um, Grim Reaper, I guess it looks something like this. I'm gonna do the arms. Uh, all we have left is the arms on the face and his little weapon thing. So, to do the arms, uh, you're gonna need some white bands to do his hands. And yeah. Oh my god, I had to take a break right now to get water, I swear. The witch tutorial killed my voice. <laughs> Oh, it was just too much talking. I also feel like it's just because I don't film tutorials as many days in a row. I usually will like take, or like I'll do one long tutorial and one like shorter one. Both of these are a little bit longer, so my poor voice, my poor voice is like suffering. Um, anyway, so to start the arms, what we're gonna do, if I can get my camera to focus, we are going to wrap a band three times on our hook, so that's one, two and then three pull a band through everything put both ends back on put the back one over the front one pull another band through just the cap band make a stitch do that one more time actually we do that another time we do it four times in total so so you should have four, so if you count, you have one, two, three, four. And then you're going to go into this first one, and we're going to switch colors. So that's it for the white. We'll go back to red. So many of these bands are twisted. And then we'll pull it through. 
everything on your hook because we're switching colors and then put the back one over the front one. And we only do this one time just because we're switching colors. So now we'll be putting a C-clip on this band and we're going to go around the arm a couple times. Once again, I didn't write down how many times we go around, but I think we go around about this about four times and we're just doing one band in every single loop until we get back to the C-clip. So just go around. So this will be one time. I feel kind of unprepared for these tutorials, like I didn't have the count for this, didn't have the count for the hood, just because I'm kind of rushing to get them out for Halloween, but I feel like it, I'm not confusing, and if you want to know exactly how many times, check the description. Once you get to the C-clip, you'll just move it up, and we'll do the exact same thing again, and after this row, if you can, you should still have four, so let me count for you just to show you. So, one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four... <laughs> Then we'll just do this exact same thing again, putting, doing another row just normal around, putting one in every loop. So this is row two. So one, two. I don't know why I'm counting. I'm going to just move your clip up. We'll do one more row. I think we have two more rows, actually. I'm looking at, like, arm size. Yeah, we have to do two more rows. And then we'll close it up. I'm running out of red bands here. <laughs> I swear, the amount of times I've awkwardly laughed in this video is one too many. It's, like, ten too many. I don't know why I just keep awkwardly laughing today. Okay, so that was row three, so we're gonna go one ar around one more time to make it four. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze suddenly. Okay, it went away, we're good. Oh my god, the sequel didn't come out. There we go. There we go. So we're just gonna go around one more time to make it four times around. And then we'll just move the C-clip up one last time. Like that. Okay, so you should have done the start thing and then you go around four times. And once you've done that, we're going to close it up. I'm just making sure they're the right size. On an unrelated note, I also feel like he would look really cute with just like stubby little arms. So if you wanted, you could probably do only like two rows and then end it. And I feel like that would look cute as well. But we are going to be going... I'm sorry, I was writing down some instructions. Um, we're going to be closing this up, so we'll just decrease everything until it's closed. And this takes a second. I think we only have to decrease one and then it's pretty much closed. And then we just decrease one more. So decrease one. And then pick up the bands for a decrease, and it gets really tight here. So just pick up the bands like if you would decrease, and then pull a band through this. And then we'll attach this onto our guy, so don't tie it shut. And then just pick where you want the arms, they usually go about right here, a little behind where the hood is. And then just tie it in. Like that, he has one arm. So we're gonna do wanna do, I don't know if it looks a little long. No, it's the right size, I was just being weird. Um, yeah. So we're gonna wanna do the exact same thing one more time, so oh, I need more red bands again. Okay, so once again, we'll start with the white, and we'll do the exact same thing. So you wrap band three times around your hook. I'm going to be going a little faster this time, just because I already explained this once. If you want a more detailed explanation, go back a bit. Also, someone's apparently calling our house. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. Oh, my mom already answered it. 
Um, but yeah, we're just going to be putting four stitches in this cap band. And I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to be explaining this too much just because I already explained it once. So, two, three, and then four. Oops. Once you have four, you can count it, so it's one, two, three, four. And then we'll go into this first loop here. And because we'll be switching colors, you're going to want to do that weird thing. So you pull it through everything on your hook and then put the back one over the front one. And then we'll just go around this. Oh, well, we put a C-clip on this fan. And then we go around this four times to make the arm. And like I said, I'll be looming a little faster this time just because I already explained it, but I'm going to stay on camera just because I don't know why, but for the longest time with the tutorials, when it was like a bracelet and they had borders on each side, I would get confused on how to do the other side of the borders, like, and I'd have to watch the tutorial, even though it was like the exact same thing. Like, I don't have to do that anymore, but for the longest time, I found that difficult. So that's why I'm staying on, just because I find this helpful sometimes when they stay on for both things. But yeah, so we just go around this four times. So this is, this is row one. And then move the C-clip up. And this is a little hard to do because I know um, the hardest part of most of my designs is that they're so kind of tight. But I didn't want his arms to be fat. And that's, this is row two. Like I said, I think if we did two rows and then put the arms on, it would look cute as well if you don't want to make them as long. But because I want mine to look like he's holding the... I don't know what the heck the thing Green Reaper's Hold is called. I've just been calling it his weapon. <laughs> so, because I want him to hold that. I'm going to make his arms a little longer, but you can make him short and I feel like it would look just as cute. Yeah, so that was the end of row two. So this will be row three. Honestly, though, going around tiny things in Lumigurmi, it just takes practice because now I find it easy, but at the start it definitely was a lot harder and I probably, I didn't make that many thin things. If you notice the first, like, Lumigurmi designs I made, they were all blobs. <laughs> just because... Just because going thin and small is hard, so... Up so I don't know why I pick up so many bands when I'm like on the last row. There's no point. Um, yeah, that was row three, so I'm just gonna do one more, and this will be row four. And then we close it up. I could have gone off camera for this one, but. And then once you get to the C clip, you can just make a stitch in it and take it off because we don't need it anymore. And then we'll decrease till close. So like I said, you just decrease one and then that'll pretty much be it. And then you just pick the decrease up. Gosh, what the heck is happening? Over there. Oh, it didn't go on. So you just do one decrease and basically that'll be it. So you just pick up like you would decrease. Like if you were decreasing. So you just pick up a decrease and then you pull a band through this thing we have on our hook and we tie this into him like I said I usually go a little behind the hood so we'll go right here and, oops. and we just tie it in like that And he has arms. Like I said, I make his arms a little longer because I want him to be able to hold the thing. But if you weren't having him hold anything, I would probably make his arms like a whole row or two shorter just because I feel like it would look better. But because I wanted to make him hold something, that's why they're a little longer. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is his face, which I'll do last, but I'm going to make this first. And I don't really attach the arms until I have that to attach, so I'm just going to get some brown bands. 
and everything is doubled. So we're gonna get one band, the first band. Let me just check something really quick. Okay, so we're gonna get one band. We're gonna wrap it around our hook four times. Then we'll get another band, double it, and then we'll be chaining up 13 with doubled bands. So this is one. I absolutely hate doubled bands, but I think it looks best like this. So two. Three. Need to pick up some more. Four. Oops, fucked my camera. This is five. Six. Seven. Oops. Seven. God, I hate doing doubled bands. Eight. Almost there. Nine, ten, eleven. I don't know why that one looks funny. Ten, eleven, I think so. Twelve, and then this last one will be thirteen. So once you have chained up thirteen of a double bands. You're gonna get just one band. You're not gonna double it or anything and it'll just make a slip knot at the end. And don't worry about this, we'll tuck this in in a second. So you're gonna want to get your gray bands next. And you're gonna be doubling these, so you're gonna get two each time you do these. And you're gonna go into the first loop here. And then go with your two bands and you're gonna just make a stitch like you would with one band but you're doing it with two. We'll go to the next one and do the same thing. You're gonna want to make sure you go through everything. You think I didn't go through everything? Basically, you just go through the middle of these. And like I said, you have two bands, so you just go like that. I'm gonna fix it because I think my other one needed to be a little thinner, so we're only gonna go down two. But if you want it to look like my other one, I went down three, but I'm gonna... Actually, no, I'm gonna do the same as this one. I like how it looks. My sister was like, it needs to be skinnier, but no, I like it. Leaving it. Um, So we go down one more, we do that same thing. So we get a doubled... We get two bands. And we make a stitch. And then we... Oops. Just make sure you don't let go of anything. I keep accidentally doing that. And then we turn. And I'm just going to make sure what I did real quick. And we're going to get some more doubled bands. And after we turn, we're going to go down two. So you're going to turn and then make stitches in both of these two loops. It's kind of hard to do. <laughs> you just make stitches in both of these. And then we will do a... Like that, and then we will turn and do a decrease. So, pick up the front part and the back part. Then you get another set of doubled bands, and you make a stitch. Oops. And I believe after this, I just tied it off. I'm not sure which way I tied it. Um, I basically just tied it down, so I'm just gonna go down right here, and then get a band, and then tie it. That is how I made the X. Well, I don't know what this is. Um, you can make it a little thinner if you want, but I kind of just like how this looks. It, it gets, gets the point across. And you can just, I took both of these um, stray tails just back into the end of this X. So, the gray one goes into this bit. And you kind of just have to weave it in. That one could use to be <laughs> weaved in a little more, but... And then for the brown one, I usually just go up the back a little bit. So you kind of have to 
stick your hook through the middle of all these. It's kind of hard to do. Especially hard to do on camera, which I'm kind of going off. But you just go up through the middle of all these doubled bands. It's extremely hard to do on camera because I can't see very well. But you basically just go up the back of it, and then you've got the brown of the tail. Well, the brown tail bit. And you just pull it down in. Oops. Oh my god. Okay, the tail is not cooperating. I'm going to tuck it later, but you see what you would do. You'd go up, you pull it down in. It'd be good. If you're lazy, you can also just wrap it around. It probably wouldn't look too bad. I'm actually just going to do that for tutorial purposes. So, if you're lazy and don't want to tuck the tail in, you could just wrap it around. It'll probably look fine. Like that. I'm going to tuck that in properly later. It's just right now I can't do it. So yeah, now we have his weapony thing. And I usually just tie it in. I'm going to use red, that way you can't see it. <laughs> this axe looks so bad now that I tied it around like that. It'll look like this if you just play with it. Like the point too, you just have to kind of play with it. It's like squish it where you want it to go. Um, I do kind of think, like my sister said, it would look better if you only do two. So you I just kind of made this up. I don't know if I 100% like it. But we'll just tie this into him. So I want it to go out that way. Actually, let's do the face first, because I don't know face last. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. So. Okay. So we're just going to tie this in. So we're going to go through part of the axe. And we'll go through part of him. Get a red band. And we'll just tie it. Oops, you can't see. It's blurry. It's not helping. There we go. You just tie it and tuck the tail in. And then I'm gonna, I, I tied it down here last time too, so you're gonna wanna go somewhere towards the bottom. And just tie it in. And I'm using red, like I said, so we won't, we won't see it on our, you probably want to use whatever color your dude's robe is. Oops. Like that. And this looks incredibly bad, but I promise you if you did it correctly and tuck the tails properly, it'll look better because I did it right. It just, it doesn't look good. Then I'll tie his hand here. So go through part of the hand. And then go through part of the X. And I'll use red. And I'll just tie it so it looks like he's holding it. And then tuck it in. Like that. Oh, that kind of looks cute, but I'm going to put his other hand right there. So we once again we'll just go through part of the hand and then part of I don't know why I, I called it an axe. Are these a scythe? Is that what they're called? I should have googled what the heck they were called before filming. <laughs> like that. And now he's holding it. See it looks better once you tie it in. Then it looks like what it's supposed to if you tuck the tail in correctly on the stick which I did not. like that. And there it is. I might put out a tutorial for better eggs later, but for now this one's gonna have to do. I think it looks fine. I'm pretty sure I did this correctly. But yeah, there's this thing. So the last thing we have to do is his face, so you're gonna want to get whatever you want to use, beads or, um, beads or bands or whatever for the eyes. And you just tie those in. So I'm gonna go, where'd I go for you? I'll go about right here. And the whole mouth I actually did without um, glue, so I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. 
So, just pull this back in. That, and then go wherever else you want the eye. I'm gonna go right here. Tie it in. The eyes are pretty easy, you just tie them in. Or if you have safety eyes, your eyes are prob prob probably already in. Oh gosh, why did his eye do that? This happens occasionally with beads. Like that. Oh god, his eyes need help. Okay, we will ignore his eye situation. So what you want to do now is you're going to want to get a black band and you're going to cut it. I have some scissors here, so you're just going to get a black band and you'll just cut it. And then you're going to pull it like straight. It's almost, it is straight across somewhere under the eyes. So I'm going to go right here. Pull it in. I think I made his eyes too low. I'm going to get the other end, and I'm going to pull it in right over here, and just pull it in. I, I definitely didn't make his mouth wide enough, but I'm going to show you how to do it so you can more or less get the idea. And then you'll get another piece of band, and you're going to want to cut this one slightly shorter, so this was something I used for something else, but I'm going to still cut it a little bit shorter. Not too short, but not too long either. And then you do the vertical bits is you just pull this in shoot you just don't want to, the whole point of this is you don't want to pull it too tight so I pulled it in on the bottom and then I'll go above where the mouth is and I'll pull it do the exact same thing and just pull it in on the top I'm sorry if I'm going off camera I'm just trying to shove my hook through but it's not cooperating like that so like I said on top and you'll just pull in. What happened? Oh gosh, the whole thing came out. See, that's what you have to be careful with. It is possible to do. It's just really... Oh, oh gosh, my camera's falling. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so like I said, it is possible to do this. It's just really hard for me to do on camera. So you basically, all you're doing is you pull a band that you cut through vertically. I'm only definitely going to do one mouse stitch because... Proving to be extremely hard to do on camera. So you just go through the bottom. I usually put the middle one in first. That's what I'm kind of trying to show you. If I wasn't failing. So you go in. Leave a little bit sticking out. You could leave. If you want to make the mouth um, vertical things easier. Just leave them really long and tuck them in the head. Like that. Yes. No. Okay, I think I cut this one a little too short. But... Get back in. That's basically what you do. I don't know if you can see what I did. And you just want to make this mouth, it's going like this, look as straight as possible. And then you can leave these really long. In fact, I cut it, I shouldn't have, I should have just left it really long. And you just basically put the middle one in first. I would make this mouth a little longer, and then you just put one over here, and one over here, and you'll have a skeleton mouth. I'm only going to do that one, because if you saw me struggle, you saw how much of a struggle that was. Um, like I said, with this one, I glued this in a circle. So you can do different things. You can mess around with these guys, make them hold different things. I just think they're fun. <laughs> they're basically just hood-wearing little Halloween things. Um, if you, I hope you like this tutorial. I hope your thing turned out okay and doesn't look like... This dude currently does. I promise I'll fix him. Um, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials from me. I'm always working on new and different things to just put out different designs. I'm so <laughs> backlogged on designs right now. Um, check out my Instagram if you want to see some designs that are coming. I know the toucan is one that is so highly requested. And I promise I'm getting around to it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good Halloween. I'm going to be... I'm going to go because my voice is so tired. Bye.